It's very interesting, this passage, because actually I have two words here also we had a discussion about. لِلْمُخْمَلْ رَائِحَةٌ لَيْسَتْ كَأَيِّ رَائِحَةٍ أُخْرَى هكذا كانت ست قمر تقول لها لحوة of course هي رائحة الدفء وهي رائحة السخون الهاجعة وهي رائحة العمق وهي رائحة المدى وهي رائحة الطرف المستحق وهي رائحة الأنفة والتمنع وهي رائحة التمني والتشهي وهي رائحة النضج نضج الحب ونضج العمر وهي رائحة اللحم النظيف وهي رائحة اللحم المعمر بالاشتياقات وعرق الرغبات لكن ليس أي مخمل إنما المخمل الخميل المخمل الذي يتقد فيه أغلى الحرير المخمل ذو النعومة المرصوصة المنسدلة العصية على التكسر بوهج في القماش مستتر بمزاج في اللون متبدل دون جلبة بضياء خافت بلمعان متسلل بخفر مسترسل فوق ثنيات الجسد بملمس يبعث حفيفا لا يشفل معه الشوق Such a challenge, I know <laughs> Okay, okay. Here, what do you have? Um, I didn't get through all of them no, okay. Just whatever you yeah. have okay. um, So it started with Velvet has a smell like no other. It is what Sip Kamar would say. It's the smell of warmth, of dormant heat. It's the smell of depth, of expanse. It is the smell of deserved luxury, of vain inaccessibility and lustful yearning. It is the smell of ripening, of ripe love and ripe age. It is the smell of clean flesh, flesh seasoned with yearning and doused in desire. Uh, I just want to, uh, if you can just move uh, to this one for uh, uh, the glow of senses, the Arabic one. Okay, I just need to show you because actually I have two discussions in this one for two words. Okay, yeah. this one here, yeah. See, you have two words. You have al muammar and you have al-muhmal al-khamil. Nama al-muhmal al-khamil. Okay, al-muhmal al-khamil. I was asked about the word al-khamil. What do you mean when you say al-muhmal al-khamil? Okay, so if you go, so you have to bear with me also. If you go to the next one, if you go to qamus al-ma'ani, mostly now translators would go to qamus al-ma'ani. Let's go for qamus here. You have al-khamil. It says from al-khamil min al-ta'am al-thariid, al-mukhm al-khamil, also al-qatifa, but actually it means like full or al-kathif. So when you when you hold it, it's not very light or flowy. It is from silk, but even it's plush. Now the true challenge was the word al muammar. Can you go next one? No, after al khair. If you go to qamus al maani, you will not find it. Look at yuammar from ammara or amara. It means hair. Tamiran, it means like either a bullock rajul muammar. What do you mean by rajul muammar? Yes, yes, an age. Perfect, yes. He's an aged man. But this is not an aged man. Al Muammar. You say smell a flesh aged by longings and the sweat. No, I'll tell you, that's what mostly the. Yes, it's right. Now, if you go, this one, no, no, we are the same. Later after this one, this one here. You go here, Al Kinayat Al Amma. This is some sort of a dictionary, not necessarily yeah, yeah. the only one available. It goes to the things or the words we use it in slide, like urban dictionary. Mm -hmm. When they say, Ammar al 
What do you mean? To, uh, Intoxication. No, بقول لك الطاسة no. عمر الطاسة معناه ملح. الطاسة يريدون بها الرأس كناية عن شرب الخمر. It means that الطاسة عمرة you drink wine and you become intoxication. So here المعمر بالاشتياقات as if drinking. So this this is one of the discussions we had. And sometimes it helps if you know something. So بقول لك إيش والله الطاسة عمرة. It means intoxication. So this one, it was perfect example for the kind of discussions I had because also she thought we'll talk about aged kind of velvet. But I mean, uh, are you confident that your readers, in general, if one can generalize about your readers, in Arabic, would, in Arabic yeah. Yeah. would they would understand it in that way? I mean, not of course. Not, there are lot, there are all, uh, not uh, only for this word. In many other. There is Arabic writer here. In Arabic, yeah. there is also yeah. Arabic writer. Me. Yeah. I didn't understand. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I mean, if if your yeah. audience don't understand that, where does that leave you? Oh, well, well actually, matter. when it comes only to one word, yeah. Okay, and you say al muammar bil Yeah. Mm. And you can translate it even in Arabic differently, as long as you come to a meaning, yes. it's okay. But you have to, for me, actually reading, mm. I enjoy reading, and I I search, yes. and I try to know what does it mean, and that's why some of the things that have been written, it's even for the, when, when it was chosen for the prize, I said even the language itself is fresh, it's different. Different, yeah. They, they wrote yes. about the language, it's as a different. So maybe Nora and then yeah. Sure, we, we yeah. worked as a group and okay. agonized over every word and turn of phrase. Um, these are all tentative. <laughs> what did you agonize about? Uh, everything. everything. <laughs> Velvet has a smell unlike any other. This is what Sit Summer used to say to her. It has the smell of warmth, the smell of heated desire, the smell of deep, of distance, and of the well deserved. Mm -hmm. That's as far as we got. Oh, good. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So we were two, yeah. and then there were other two people. Okay. Oh, um, Velvet smells like nothing else. That's what Sit Summer would tell her. It was the smell of warmth, the smell of something heat, the smell of depth. The smell of space, I said, I don't know. Right? Mm -hmm. um, um, There's the smell of luxury you deserve. Mm -hmm. The smell of pride and aloofness. The mm -hmm. smell of hope and desire. The smell of maturity. Maturity in love and in life. The smell of clean flesh. The, the smell of flesh aged by longing and the sweat of desires. Mm -hmm. We were wondering about I like to leave. Yeah, well, I, I was a hesitant. I, I, I was not final. It's, it's a difficult concept because it's quite broad. Yes, you, you have some sort of restraint on your emotion and you don't go to it and you don't express it. Yeah. She I want, want, she there's can't. a theme in the novel that's about prohibition. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very strongly. So I wonder yeah. if there was a connection. I Maybe. Mean, it so it depends desire. actually because it's all in the conscious. You know, sometimes, mm. you know, as writers you all know and you write things and then it is read differently by so many people, mm. which makes it all the more interesting for you. Because things come in to us as writers and we don't think quite about because if we overthink it. We, we don't start criticizing <laughs> ourselves, yes, and we do not try. So it is meant, that's why each single person can read it and interpret it differently, as long as it sheds light on certain points. Okay, how about here? Uh, yeah, 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 go ahead. Would you like me to read? Yeah. <laughs> the scent of velvet is like no other. That's what Sip Homer used to say. It's the scent of warmth, a drowsy warmth which deepens and expands of opulence attained, of pride and exclusivity, the scent of hope and longing, the scent of maturity, of rightness of love and age. Mm. Mm.
Yeah, it's very, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Hair we find very difficult. Yes, hair yeah. yeah. like sleeping or sleeping. actually it's sort of like yeah. dormant or sleeping or like that. Yeah. 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 And yeah. also they call it from in our in classic Mahja. Mm. It's a place where you go and sleep. Right. Yeah. Mahja, yeah. 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 It has to do also this one, it's the language itself. Uh, it's um, uh, for me. Uh, 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 I love language, and I think it's uh, my writing is experimenting always in language. Even my articles, and like, I always go to different scopes of using the language, because we are we are put into some sort of can I say it bluntly? It's uh, like a Quranic language that you cannot mess with, which is not true in literature. This is it, and you have to have uh, some sort of an active reader in Arabic, even before translating the novel, to start going through this language and to discover different scopes of it. You cannot have one word used the same all the time, otherwise you kill the language. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a living being, and therefore as a writer you come to a phase of work and experimenting, to start creating your own language. Yeah, it's not only in Arabic. In in language, language, but the problem we have in Arabic have. here, mm -hmm. we always look at it as something sacred we cannot miss with. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, I know, but Person, yeah, yeah, that's why. This is part of our experience yeah. in writing now. Yeah. Okay. How about here? Do we have like uh, alternative? <laughs> And it is the smell of clean flesh, and the smell of flesh drunk with yearning, and the sweat of desire. Mm -hmm. Sounds no, like the Is there any word? Very good. Well, very good. Yeah, yeah excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.